hello guys welcome back once again to our lovely channel and to uh, i mean as we always do it if you're a first time visitor or if you are a returning visitor but you haven't subscribed please do all to subscribe without you guys our efforts are you know meaningless so please do all to subscribe to uh, do all to like our videos and i've done several videos on scholarships and working outside opportunities please if you haven't watched those okay you need to go back and benefit from those opportunities as well and as we always do it i am not relenting on my efforts to see most of my subscribers or all my subscribers relocate to their country of choice guys it's amazing to travel that's why i've also decided to do in-depth research and analysis to present such amazing opportunities you know i remember someone um told me that i have the money and you know i have the desire but i don't know the way that's why this channel is here to show you the way so please subscribe you know um like and comment and let's get interactive so today's opportunity is amazing as always and this is a working visa for unskilled workers so when we talk about unskilled workers those are people who are experienced in horticulture and also people who work on poultry farms you know so horticulture is about working on farms flower farms vegetable farms fruit farms and you know farmlands and um poultry farms those who are experienced in poultry farming as well so those are the people we classify that unskilled workers and when we talk about skilled workers those are professionals nurses doctors and you know um lawyers and all these um professional courses so um today's content is about unskilled workers and it's about the seasonal working visa as the name implies seasonal so they give it every season depending on the time of the year so guys stay tuned like subscribe share and let me take you through this amazing opportunity please don't just watch you need to you know demonstrate the edge desire make good use of these opportunities you know it takes time to do research i'm sure you're aware of that but me having the desire to see people relocate to their country of choice i want you guys to also meet my edge meet my desire with equal or even higher desire than mine by making good use of these opportunities so stay tuned whilst i take you through this amazing opportunity see you there
um yeah so as you can see so this is the uk government's official website okay and um as i earlier mentioned in the introductory video this visa category is the seasonal worker visa that's temporary work so seasonal means each year they have a specific time period they issue these visas so if you are fortunate to get it for the first time and you have that travel history on your passport it's very likely that each year they are going to give you this visa and also if you establish that working relationship with the companies they will be happy to recruit you every year and even they can even make you give you a long-term stay if they are happy with their work you do for them so let's go through and i will give you some companies for you to benefit from this opportunity okay so um, let's look at the overview you can apply for a seasonal work worker visa to come to the uk and work in so one horticulture for up to six months so when you talk about horticulture it's about picking fruit and vegetables or flowers and i mean we all in some in one way or the other are farmers most of us have our backyard you know farmlands most of us even have big farmlands we work on so it's not different from this kind of work it's just like they are recruiting farmers basically that's the meaning and also the second eligibility um, or the second criteria is poultry farm um, poultry farm workers and this visa is issued from 2nd october to 31st december in the same year or in each year so this year they've already started issuing this poultry visas for people to come and work in their poultry farms so from 2nd to december so we have um, some time for people to take advantage of this opportunity you can apply you you need to apply for poultry seasonal worker visa by 15th november each year so 15th november so guys we have about one month remaining if you are interested you don't need lots of documents i mean you just need to get the company for them to give you the permit okay so i'll give you at as at the time i'm making this video we only have eight licenses companies to recruit people and i'll give you this eight licenses companies so that you can explore the opportunity okay so you can apply for horticulture seasonal worker visas at any time of the year okay anytime so the horticulture seasonal worker visa that one has no restrictions unlike the poultry visas that's you need to apply by 15th november each year horticulture seasonal visa can be applied any time of the year as long as um, you have this criteria you need to have a sponsor and meet other eligibility requirements so you need to have a sponsor as i say we have eight companies that recruits people so if they recruit you if you are shortlisted they will give you the permit to apply for the visa this visa has replaced the temporary worker or seasonal worker visa. Okay, so how long it takes? You can apply. Um, you can apply for a visa up to three months. Okay, before the day you are due to start work in the UK. This date is listed on your certificate of sponsorship. So the certificate of sponsorship is a. Uh, um, electronic document that the company will give you that we've employed this person with their address and this is the amount we are going to pay the person so please issue the person with a visa so that's the certificate of sponsorship okay and each certificate of sponsorship has a unique code or unique number so it's this unique reference number you will need to apply for the visa so guys it's very interesting and it's an amazing opportunity it's unskilled vest um worker category so you don't need to prove you don't need to provide in i mean lots of documents to be given this visa you just need a company that's all you need that's all you need and the interest and the desire okay getting a decision so this getting a decision 
once you've applied online, proved your identity, and provided your documents, you will usually get a decision on your visa within three weeks. Guys, 15 working days, three weeks, you will get a decision regarding your visa. So it's quick and amazing. So you will need to pay the application fee, okay? Prove you have enough personal savings, okay? And it says check how, check how much in the eligibility requirements. Okay, we will have a look in a minute okay okay so let me just pass this through they said prove you have enough personal savings guys this doesn't really matter because when the company issue you with a certificate of sponsorship on that um, electronic document there's a section um assigned up for maintenance upkeep so the company will indicate that they will give you enough money to sustain your life in the uk which makes this point inapplicable to your case okay so don't worry about the personal savings and the application fee is 298 pounds and in most cases these companies will even reimburse you the application fee they will take care of your travel cost as well and they will provide you with accommodation so guys come on it's amazing make good use of it take advantage of it please how long you can stay you can stay in the uk for up to six months you can stay in the UK for up to six months for horticulture work from 18th December to 31st December each year for poultry work. So the poultry work is 18th to 31st December. That's, you know, a short period. But you, And also don't forget that you need to apply for the visa for the poultry um, category. Deadline is 15th November each year. Okay. You can enter the UK as soon as your visa is valid, up to 14 days before the start of your job. And you will know the start of your job from your certificate of sponsorship. What you can do and cannot do, guys, pay attention. This is very important. So this visa comes with certain restrictions. So work in the job described in your certificate of sponsorship. So the, um, the reason why they are giving you the visa, they are saying you need to stick to that job okay steady for some courses you will need an academic technology approval scheme certificate all right we are not looking at that any skill and any training you need the company that's recruiting you will make sure you have the um enough competencies adequate competencies for that role you cannot take a permanent job okay so the reason why you are going there is seasonal, is temporal. So guys, stick to that. When your work is done, you just return to your country. Or if you get the opportunity to get a permanent stay, that's a great, I mean, opportunity. But they said you cannot take a permanent job as long as you remain on that visa. So if you get a permanent job, usually what they do is they will change your visa. You will apply for a change of visa from the temporal working visa to a permanent working visa or a long stay working visa work in a second job or a job that isn't described in your certificate of sponsorship so you cannot work in a second job or a job that is not described on your certificate of sponsorship so as i earlier mentioned the certificate of sponsorship will outline your responsibilities and the job the nature of the job you are going to do so they are saying that you need to stick to that job you cannot take up a second job now let me tell you most people will say oh why can't you take up a second job this category this i mean farming work or horticulture and poultry work you know they don't get people to even do it because uk hesitates the european union there is a massive shortage in that field so i mean when you come you can even take up extra shifts i mean as many as if you like work 24 hours i mean you will get enough work so it wouldn't even done on you to go and look for a second job because in that category there's enough hours you can work to make a lot of cash on you guys also you cannot get public funds of course and you cannot bring family members with you on the temporary visa but when you get a permanent stay of course you can bring your dependents your spouse and your immediate children okay guys so this is the seasonal or temporary working visa 
So I will, I will list on the screen the eight companies that are licensed at the moment to recruit people. Now let's quickly look at the eligibility requirements, okay? Let's quickly look at the eligibility requirements. Let quick, let's have a look at the eligibility requirements. All right. So the eligibility, you must be 18 or over when you apply and have both and have both of the following certificate of sponsorship that's the reference number i mentioned so the company will give you that enough money to support yourself in the uk you, you will usually need to have at least 1270 pounds available unless you are exempt so this is the conditionality unless you are exempt and as i mentioned your certificate most of these companies will include that exemption on your certificate of sponsorship so you don't need to prove that amount your employer must make sure your job pays at least the minimum wage and currently the minimum wage in the uk is about 10 pounds 47 pence per hour so even if they give you that minimum wage 10 pounds 47 pence per hour and you're able to work 12 hours a day my goodness guys just do the calculation by yourself so this is an amazing way to make extra cash i mean six months compares traveling to the uk for six months all cost catered for and stay in your home country doing the work you do now for six months just compare guys do the mathematics so um yeah you need a certificate of sponsorship i've spoken vastly about that and you need money to support yourself as i said the company will include that on your certificate of sponsorship so that's nothing to worry about now let's look at documents you must provide documents you must provide documents you must provide when you apply you will need to provide your certificate of sponsorship reference number okay you get that from your certificate of sponsorship valid passport okay that shows your identity and nationality your personal savings to support yourself in the uk for example bank statements so unless your certificate of sponsorship so shows your sponsor can support you so this is what i mentioned this exemption will be included on your certificate of sponsorship so you don't need to provide any bank statement to prove the availability of funds that's equivalent to 1270 pounds and if your documents are not in english then you need to add a certified translation so guys you don't need a lot of documents you just need a certificate of sponsorship meaning you just need a company to recruit you that's all that you need and you need to make sure your passport is ready if you don't have a passport just quickly get you know um, a priority service and get your passport now let's look at how to apply how to apply so i'll leave i'll leave all these links in the video description so guys you can just click on it and make good use of it you must apply online so here is it you must apply online and after applying you have to go and take your fingerprints and photo at your visa application center so each country has their visa application center so you just need to check where your country is you can click on it and know which part of your country has this visa application center okay if you have a child while you are in the uk if you have a child while you are in the uk they do not automatically become a british citizen you can apply online for their visa as your dependent you must do this if you want to travel in and out of the uk with your child so guys in case you get someone to give birth i mean if you give birth whilst you are on this visa in the uk then you need to apply for a visa for the child so that you can travel with the child anytime you are coming to the uk all right so guys that's amazing okay so you go to apply now and then they will ask you questions um so depending on where the company or the job is you select okay and you continue and they will ask you so you just keep answering the questions to apply for this visa so guys this is amazing okay so um, as you can see the companies on your screen just do a quick background check of these companies and see their um, recruitment process 
and in the next video i'll pick about two of these companies and take you through the step-by-step -step guide how to apply to these companies for the certificate of sponsorship so for you to benefit please subscribe because if you don't subscribe you wouldn't know when i release this video that's why i always encourage you to subscribe i encourage you to like i, I encourage you to share and also i encourage you to get interactive at the comment section if you don't ask if you don't understand anything just leave it at the comment section and i'll be happy to respond to all your queries so thank you very much and i hope as many as of you will make good use of this opportunity please go ahead we all do farms in our house i mean if you're a nurse if you're a doctor we all do farms i do farm you do farm at your backyard so this is nothing different just go go ahead and give it a go and i wish you all the best in that regard so don't forget please subscribe and i'll see you in my next video thank you very much okay guys so i'm sure you all have witnessed this amazing opportunity so please subscribe like share and comment let's get interactive if you have any questions leave it on the comment section and i'll give you response um you know to make sure you guys benefit from this opportunity and at the moment there are only eight companies that are authorized by the uk visas and immigration to recruit people to work in this visa category so as you can see on the screen these are the only eight legit companies so please do well to go to the company's website to explore these opportunities and also in my next video i'm going to take you through the step by step step application process how these companies go about their recruitment remember you need certificate of sponsorship so please it's important i take you through the step-by-step -step application process so that these companies can issue you with the certificate of sponsorship for you to also apply for this temporary or seasonal working visa to come and work in the uk guys trust me since months working in the uk for six months <laughs> guys you are going to do amazing you know the money you are going to make and those people are paid really well so as you can see um, um that's the you know possible money i mean estimated money you are going to make working on that visa category so guys subscribe share and you know hit the notification bell so that when i release the next video about the step-by-step -step guide to apply for this um opportunities you are not going to miss it you will benefit as well also that's why i've released the companies eight companies so whilst you wait for the next video please do well to read about these companies to explore this opportunity thank you and i look forward to seeing you in the next video soon subscribe like and share love you all and i look forward to seeing you all relocate to the country of your choice take care much for subscribing and i look forward to working with you all i have with me here today my lovely niece what do you have to tell them hello. tell them hello guys. hello guys please subscribe to my uncle's channel please subscribe to my uncle's channel well done all right guys